We are about to enter the world of beauty. Follow me. Welcome to the catwalk, beauties. 12 hair and makeup artists compete to see who will be the next American beauty star. This is amazing. Oh my God. I love it. I'm Time the Infamous, and you're looking at the first American beauty star. I'm Sean Blaine, and I'm a hairstylist from Los Angeles. Okay, the queen is in session. I'm on my throne. I do beauty and special effects, and I'm ready to rock this competition. Awesome. I got into here to meet girls. Plain and simple, and it worked. Hello, my beauty. She is beyond gorgeous. She was like an angel from heaven, so she, oh! My idol from my wall is right here in front of me. Sexy Adriana and sexy as Sir John. Oh, we know who he is. Sir John is going to be your beauty star mentor. I'm here to nurture and guide you on your journey. You want the quality to be at a premium. Get these girls information, make it hot. Your journey is just beginning. The winner will walk away with $50,000 in cash. Every model is a blank canvas. Girls, come on out. Yeah. You are the beauty director of the entire look. From the hair and the makeup, to the nails, the wardrobe, accessories, and of course, the final photo. I'd like to introduce you guys to Gail Federici, CEO of Colorlock. The winner of tonight's challenge will have a very special place at ColorWow as an ambassador and will participate in one of our photo shoots. I brought someone very special with me tonight. He has really changed Hollywood hair, Chris Appleton. Hey guys, how are you doing? My thing is always to make sure that the person wearing it sells it for you. Every decision you make will affect your chances of winning this competition. You'll be giving our beautiful heroes full makeovers. We have a group of walk-in clients who've been standing in the sun waiting on their makeovers. You're gonna build the most iconic image for a musician you can imagine. Good luck, your time starts now. Now. Now, let's go. Started with a pop and lock shellac. Where's my teammate? I'm here to win. I don't have time to hold your hand. But I don't want heavy drag queen makeup. That's a different show, child. I do have a couple tricks up my sleeve, so beware, be on guard. My, my main thing in this competition, apart from winning, is to not sabotage anyone. You know what it means to be slayed. How sick is that? I freaking love it. Right? No the future is now. Heads up, I'm a little concerned about the direction with the Instagram scan. If you screw it up, it's just like the whole look goes down the drain. Killing it. I kind of like to transform the person okay. when I'm, you know, showing who I am. The winner of this competition has to be very smart, agile. Oh, 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 oh. And of course, talented. No, this is not happening, which is all me. A lot of personalities, a lot of twists and turns. Let's say hello to our judges. Longtime beauty director for Vogue, Sarah Brown. Yes. Superstar, international photographer, sometimes my friend, Russell James. The headdresser of the stars, Chris Appleton. Yes. Victoria's Secret Angel, Behari Prinslow. Chrissy Brinkley, everyone! Okay, beauties, lights. Rock this catwalk in a way you haven't done before. Winning this would be everything. I have to win this. I wanted that great Vixen look, the Cindy Crawford look, like the catwalk in the 90s. It came together just how I wanted it to. Was it too over the top? I have no idea. Fierce, classic, iconic look from the 1920s. It feels absolutely amazing to really transform someone. You can have a face fully beat and your hair glam, but if you're an ugly person on the inside, then I don't see any beauty in that. For the more fashion forward client, the cooler client, that's where I wanted to go. I could see Kelly, my model, and then behind her I could see Adriana Lima, which was just like crazy to think that Adriana Lima is looking at my work. She kind of had this Spanish influence. I thought Latin Grammys, I'm just gonna, so. I'm just gonna stop you right there. It's a little offensive to me to be so stereotypical in the way that you look are at you someone. Trying, are you trying to make me punch you now? <laughs> In the world of beauty, things can get ugly very fast. The same thing happened. See, so she's not going to be pedestrian. What? Every day it's a different challenge. I'm not afraid anymore. 
everyone facing their struggles. There's a lot of that cattiness that goes on. I'm feeling very judged right now. She was very juvenile. I just wanted to see, you know, if you cared, I, if you didn't, you know and what, where I, it's clear that you don't. You do not exist right now to me. I will when I take the crown with my teammates. Have you reflected on the fact that your teammates didn't want to choose you? Somebody help me, please. This ain't no 50-50 competition. I'm just number one and they're number two. I don't want to be safe. I want to win the challenge. You can never let your ego get in the way of your talent. You've been playing this whole shtick, but you're this. It's not a shtick. I've been doing this okay. as long as you've been doing this. Well, you're not... standing over there and I'm sitting over here. 11 competitors will fall. What the f we do? I, honestly, I don't know what's going to happen. Someone's going home and someone's winning. What I've seen really grow is not his talent, but rather his ego and personality. Whoever we keep, I want to see more from because I'm not impressed. Only one. Blue shine. You Congratulations. You are the first American beauty star.